Good morning! Good morning again! So, Sunday morning. Galing ako sa apartment. Maaga pa lang. Nag-ready na. Abangan kung saan papunta. Medyo mainit talaga. And, ayan. Actually, nakapag-grab na ako. So, inintay ko na lang yung taxi. O, 7.35 in the morning. Oh my God, ang dumi pa na ng pants ko. Actually, nakarating na ako sa church. And then, na-realize, sobrang aga ko nga, guys. So, since hindi ako nag-dinner last night, sobrang gutom na gutom na ako. So, sabi ko, this is the best time para mag-breakfast sa magandang brrrr ng simbahan. So, nilakad ko lang siya. It's very near. Ayan. Malapit na tayo sa simbahan. And again, this is Divine Word Missionaries Christ at King Church at E. Rodriguez, Quezon City. So, hindi po yan yung church. Uh, parang park area po nila yan. So, nag-stay ako dyan kasi very ano uh, siya. Mas shady siya so maganda yung temperature, maayawalas at kakalas. So, let's eat. Let's have a breakfast. Talagang kape ang nagpapagising sa akin sa umaga. Okay. So, yan. Kitang-kita nyo naman. Kain, kain, kain. So, bilibilisan ko na itong pagkain kasi sobrang gutom na ako. So, since maaga pa nga guys, itour ko muna kayo sa Sanctuary of Divine Word. Napakalapit niya sa simbahan talaga. So, tandaan niyo yung area nito kung saan ako dumaan. Walking distance, pero medyo malaylay lang kayo. Pero okay lang kasi hindi naman siya mainit. Hello guys, Sanctuary of the Divine Word. Actually guys, this is my third time dito sa Sanctuary of Divine Word. Nalaman ko lang na may gantong Sanctuary uh, dahil sinabi ni Father Jerry during his online Mass. And my first time, I can still remember, nakita ko siya dyan sa my pathway. And then, dali-dali ko talaga siyang nilapitan and nagpa-picture pa. As you can see, this is the 14th station. Very solemn dito, guys. Sobrang solemn. This is a perfect area or destination, lalo na sa darating na Lenten season. So, yan ini isa isa ko yung mga 14 station. At ang pinaka very distinct sa area ng tour, very special, is yung crucified uh, Jesus, a crucifixion, na kung iisipin nyo, this is my first time na makakita ng ganitong statue na yung crucified Jesus ay nakababa. ba? Most of the time, nakikita natin siya na nakaangat siya. But this time, nakahiga talaga siya. Sabi ni Father Jerry, kaya nila ginawa itong ganito is para makapag-kneel tayo and makapag-bend over tayo malapit sa ears ni Jesus so we can whisper our prayers and intentions.
So, ito yung continuation ng 14th station all throughout dun sa dulo. And at the end of the 14th station, makikita natin yung pinakamalaking statue ni Jesus Christ and Mama Mary. And this is the last area. So, pabalik na tayo sa church. Alam nyo, sobrang peaceful sa area mo to. Sobrang peaceful dito sa location na to, sa sanctuary. Naging speechless na lang talaga ako that time. Binidyohan ko na lang talaga yung sarili ko. At this very moment, iniisip ko talaga kung saan yung next na ipapakita ko sa inyo. Pero, sige, let's check the another area dito sa Divine Word Church. Okay guys, this is going to Adoration Chapel. This is right beside the church itself. So, pababa siya guys. Ito. This is the Adoration Chapel. Dun sa may glass door. And this is the area for the candles. Hindi ko na vinito yung loob guys. So, it's up to you para i-discover nyo naman tong Adoration Chapel. And this is the actual church, Divine Word Church. Sa sir reason kung bakit ito ko si Simba is to see Father Jerry. Kasi the last time na nakita ko siya dito, hindi ako nakahingi ng blessings from him. At 9am, pumasok na ako ng church kasi akala ko 11am na yung next mass. And nalaman ko na my prior mass pa before the 11am mass of Father Jerry. Alam nyo guys, as I observe, during 11am mass, dito sa my divine word, ang dami na agad na tao and fully occupied agad ang mga front seats. Ito talaga yung literal na i-entertain ka ni Father Jerry from the start at the end of the mass. Kasi nagigitara siya and he allows every kid sa simbahan na mag-sing along and dance sa, sa kanya sa church. Sa totoo lang guys, medyo disappointed ako kasi hindi ko na close encounter si Father Jerry during communion in dun sa last blessings niya sa mass. And then I heard meron siyang meet and greet. So, kinuha ko na yung opportunity pumila ko para ma-meet ko siya in person, face to face. And God is good na binigyan na tayo ng opportunity to talk to Him, to ask prayer, to bless our rosaries, and to have photos with Him, and to share a lot of, to share a lot of your thoughts, and talaga makipagkwentuhan ng mabilis lang sa Kanya. It's a very overwhelming experience. I never thought na mangyayari talaga to. I'm so happy kasi he even signed the book and write his personal number. I'm so blessed and I felt so special that day. O oh, di ba medyo emotional talaga ako eh. At syempre, hindi naman mawawala ang photo sa meet and create. So, that's it. Goodbye!